New amp day, something just arrived. Damn! I was gonna say I love huge packages, but I'm gonna rephrase that. Uh, that's a big ass box. So beautiful, from the 90s. Not the best decade, but a great decade. Uh, it all looks intact. I don't hear any shattered glass, which is always nice. Oh. Here it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. The year was about 1993. Put on my best clothes, and I drove the Los Angeles freeways over to Macon Music, a little shop in North Hollywood, which was known for having uh, one cool little ad in all the, like a, a quarter of the page ad in some of the guitar magazines that had uh, the best amps and guitars, Tom Anderson's and Bogner's and VHT's and all this stuff, uh, stuff you could not find at Guitar Center. So I go in there, uh, I had a little boom box so I could I could record it and the guys were so nice to me and let me uh, kind of just try out everything. And it was uh, a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful day. One of the amps that I'd seen a million times, um, not a million times, cause only the like super esoteric cool dudes had it, but you, you've heard about it, this legendary Bogner amp, uh, the ecstasy. And I remember plugging in going, oh my gosh, it's so silky and gooey and, and, uh refined and uh warm and all these good things so uh all these years i've uh, had this special place in my heart for bogner stuff uh before that was the bogner fish and i've had a shiva and other bogner products i even have bogner caps because i just like seeing the logo i mean does anyone have a better aesthetic than reinhold bogner mm, well arguably no um the dude is like style and fashion like it or not so uh yeah i got this kid at a stupid price and i just i couldn't say no so even if i'm not don't like it i can flip it or whatever but uh i'm very excited to to give it another go uh after uh, many years uh, i don't have foot switch uh but i guess that's part of uh, why the price was so good so uh yeah i'm gonna try it out so we gonna plug it in. Mm -hmm. Two power controls, tricky Reinhold. All right, power here. Oh, it is on on. Okay. What is this stuff? All right, we've got. I'll put it full, nice. Uh, sound style, new and old. I'll have to investigate that. ZEL 34s in here and some switches. Okay. Oh boy. Never really been overwhelmed by an amp. Uh, the number of controls on an amp before. But I'm a little over, like, where do you start here? Presence A, presence B, all these controls. All right, I don't really know what I'm in for here. Input, high or low. Uh, I usually like low input, but I'm just gonna go with the high input. Excursions, MLT, what is it, MLT? Presence B, I guess you could set up Presence B for a different channel. So I think I'm deactivating presence B. Ch channel one, boost channel one, low and high. Low, pre-EQ. Hi, oi, oi, oi. All right, I should plug something in. By the way, it's really early and it's been cold. So forgive me, it's just gonna be like, I got sound. That's cool. Okay. Volume. All right. Next to the log game. All right. Low. Or is it 
presence. Let's work. Yeah, there's presence there. Okay. So we're going to start in the middle because I don't know where that's supposed to go. It's a really nice feeling clean sound. Versus pre EQ. Oh, cool, it's got a little bright switch. That's nice. Okay, so I like that, but since we're going to try this boost, Boost, uh, gain, volume down, gain up. Yeah, it's a lovely clean sound. We're gonna leave it at that. I could have at it with uh, the clean sound. That's nice. That's good. Our right, channel two. This is, I think, where the fun begins. Channel two. Blue. Ah! So the excursion still works. I guess it's global. got to know here pre EQ channel 2 nope too bright no it's better but let's just stick with none for now okay mid bass
about this as well. I like the heavy excursion, but it's... I, think, I don't know, I just like it. stuff here. Ding. Plexi mode. I think this is going to get loud. Gain still works in plexi mode. Not plexi. Plexi mode, okay. Alright, here's a little test. speaker in here. up in the mic because it sounds amazingly good all right so channel three what have we got here i'm gonna have to get a foot switch okay so channel two and three share uh share an eq but there's all these pre EQ stuff. I'm going to turn the excursion down. 
how that makes such a huge difference, that beefy low end. big sound like the, the mid-range is really fat and full I like it doesn't have that like instantaneous cut and chop like the Friedman does it's a different kind of thing it's a little more loose but it, like open um, maybe I don't know uh, not not more open like presence and brightness but it's really it's like a mid-range thing and low mid-range thing easier to get a good tone out of it than the fish. Uh, I could see how maybe his design really got refined. There's some similarities, but it's this is next level. For sure. Okay, now we're set. Tight metal, Joey. That's okay. But everything is tight metal, Joey. Right? So, to me, this is the kind of amp that's going to really fill in that mid range and give you that where the vocal range is. It's so vocal sounding. Uh, not the one that's going to take the bottom end and make it explode with uh, booty carnage. Um, it's more the, it's going to fill out the body of the track. Got a lot of gain. You don't want that. Don't go to old switch. Nobody wants the old. Don't even bother. Yeah, don't go to the old switch. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. This is long-winded. It's probably going to be like 45 minutes of, of me just playing real bad. Uh, Judy Blues like so. This is good. This is good. See ya.